You are watching Places. Every Tuesday, we bring you an insightful look into fascinating events from all around the world. Why Norway has the best educational system in the world. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome back to our channel. We are sure that most of you are aware about the richness and beauty of the Scandinavian countries like Norway, but in today's video, we're taking a look at their education system, which is considered to be world class. So let's understand what makes Norway's education system ideal for the rest of the world and what opportunities it can bring to us all. Introduction as we mentioned earlier, Norway is one of the rich Scandinavian countries that has one of the best standards of living across the globe. Everything here is pretty expensive, but the education here is completely free. Yes, you heard that right. Almost all schools in Norway are public schools funded by the government through the taxes collected, due to which education until high school is free, and even the public universities do not charge tuition fees for the courses offered. In 2018, the Norwegian government proposed an increase in the state budget of 11.74 million US dollars for efforts on early intervention in kindergarten, along with primary and lower secondary school, and with 23.48 million US dollars toward efforts on early intervention provided to municipalities through their free income to administer these public schools. But first, let us understand how this nation managed to create such a well-designed education system in the first place. The Past If you look at any country in the world, including the United States, privatization in the education system and poorly designed certified courses have either made higher education unaffordable or has discouraged students from taking up higher education post high school altogether. But in 1997 in Norway, the primary and middle school education system was reformed and a new curriculum was implemented. Under this reform, the local municipalities were made responsible to run public schools until the middle school level, and up until 2005, private schools were practically illegal in the country. This resulted in strengthening the quality of education provided by public schools, as all children, regardless of status, went to the same class of public school, putting a check on the level of education and facilities provided by public schools. In 2006, private schools were made largely legal in Norway and today there are several international schools and specialized schools that teach an English curriculum and are popular amongst the expatriates. Also in 2006, there was a reform made for improving the high school curriculum in Norway. But before getting to that, let us first understand the basic design of the education system in this country. The School System Scientific studies have proven that students tend to learn better and faster when they are taught in their mother tongue, and owing to this fact, the entire education in schools in Norway is in the Norwegian language, except for foreign language courses offered by these schools. All public schools have the same syllabus and standard of education, allowing parents in Norway to not worry about which school is the best in their town. The schooling system in Norway consists of three parts, primary school, middle school, and high school. The primary school consists of grades between 1st to 7th, and these years are considered to be pretty relaxing for students, with only a few standardized tests. Middle school consists of grades 8 to 10. Students are given a choice of studying various electives and foreign languages as part of their will during middle school, with a few extra standardized tests and continuous monitoring of grades. Middle school years are a little less relaxing for students. On the basis of their academic performance in the middle school, students are admitted to high schools where they can study from grades 11 to 13. Although the students have a choice to quit schooling after graduating from middle school, the majority of students continue on their schooling into high school since there are hardly any jobs available for the middle school graduates. 
In high school, students choose from three streams, which help them decide if they want to prepare themselves for university education or take more creative and artistic subjects or pursue a combination of both. The reforms in 2006, which we mentioned earlier, has helped in providing the choice between vocational and general studies' path during high school. The students also have an option to spend one year or longer of high school in a foreign country as an exchange student. The Education That Makes You Happy All over the globe, we can find multiple examples where students are stressed out because of intensive learning and exams they go through. But in Norway, you'll rarely find any such student. Any guesses as to why? Well, students here do not have homework. We're sure you all must be jealous after hearing that one. The schools in Norway strongly believe that the childhood days are some of the most valuable days in one's life, and the teachers at school encourage students to socialize, pursue sports, and have fun, rather than boring them with loads of homework. They believe that this helps an overall development of the students as they spend more time outdoors after school and also improves their efficiency. Even the methodology of teaching students is not tailored to prepare them for doing well in standardized tests, but to make them good citizens. Because, well, not all people need a good SAT score to become successful. The University System there are 23 listed universities in Norway, including both public and private, although the public universities do not charge tuition fees. The private universities are allowed to do so. The universities here offer various courses for bachelor's and master's degrees. The bachelor's degree takes three years to complete, while master's will take two more, and for obtaining a PhD, an additional three years are needed. Most of the master's courses are designed in such a way that students get a hands-on experience by working in their respective fields through internships, making them more competitive in a professional environment. Norway has signed the Bologna Process, which aims at making higher education in Europe more compatible. The Bologna process includes the European Credit Transfer and Accumulation System that allows students with degrees from Norwegian universities to hold certification recognized by other countries worldwide. This provision helps students to take up jobs in other parts of the world, and that is one of the reasons for growing popularity of Norwegian universities amongst the international students. Education Opportunities for Foreign Nationals Although Norway is a small country with a population of around 5 million people, today there are more than 15,000 international students in Norwegian universities, and four of the universities in Norway are listed in the QS World University Rankings 2019, with the University of Oslo in the capital city sitting in the 135th position worldwide. For many of the outsiders, the extreme weather conditions in Norway could be a major hurdle in moving here for pursuing education, but the presence of a warm gulf stream means the country is not as cold as one would imagine. The coastal part of the nation is relatively mild and the average winter temperature rarely goes beneath minus 4 degrees Celsius or 28.4 degrees Fahrenheit, which means you can comfortably move around in well-covered layers. In December 2018, Norway adopted dual citizenship and became the last nation in the Nordic region to make this amendment in its citizenship laws. Although this doesn't make it any easier to obtain citizenship for foreign nationals, it will definitely help people of Norwegian origins settled in other parts of the world to move home whenever they feel like it. And for any of you already planning to make a trip to this beautiful nation to learn more about their educational system, we suggest you have your own secured internet connection. That's why we recommend using a VPN. It's a super easy to use piece of software that protects your data online so the government or other companies can't spy on you and you can enjoy the internet you know and love. We partnered with the great folks at NordVPN to bring you an amazing offer. If you go to alux.com slash VPN and sign up using the code ALUX, you'll get 75% off a three-year plan and a full month for free to see if you find it valuable. Protect yourself today on the internet by going to alux.com slash VPN. The Future
The impact of the digital revolution in the field of education was discussed at Norway Day of 2017 by the Norwegian Contact Office for Research, Innovation and Education in collaboration with the Norwegian Mission to the EU. During this event, the next framework for the Program for Research and Innovation was proposed to be submitted, which aims at developing a workforce that is digitally skilled and better prepared to cope with upcoming technological advancements. Information technology is already a part of their school curriculum, and the public schools teaching digital skills are being encouraged by providing perks like free laptops. Conclusion Education plays a very important role in creating successful professionals and responsible citizens. For any country, a well-educated young population is the building blocks of the nation's technological, economic and overall development. Norway is thus leading by example, not just in Europe, but all over the world when it comes to government efforts in creating a promising future in the form of a well-educated youth. It may not be possible for all countries to replicate Norway's educational model, considering the unique factors of this country like its size and affluence. But all other nations can definitely modify and try to implement a few things that could help to improve their educational system. Question. We know we have a large international audience, and we would love to know interesting facts about the education system in your country. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the current education system in your country? Let us know in the comments. The story continues on Instagram and Twitter, so make sure to follow us there. And of course, for sticking with us until the end, you get an extra piece of content. Bonus! All around the world, students have farewells, parties and graduation trips organized either by themselves or their schools after graduation. But the graduation party in Norway is nothing like any other party around the world. In Norway, before the students write their final exams for graduating from middle school at the age of 15, they have a three-week-long legal celebration ending on the 17th day of May, the National Day of Norway. Millions of dollars are spent every year by the students in these celebrations, and parties are organized all over the country. We bet there's a few party lovers amongst you pretty excited to take up courses in Norway after learning this tidbit. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos for you to watch next. As always, the conversation continues on social media. Thanks again, and we can't wait to have you back tomorrow.